Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is your girl, Angel Baby. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You're just mad because I have a Chad. And last time I checked, you don't have a man. Well, I don't know. If I was Gypsy Rose Blanchard, I would probably pipe down on the bragging. Because word on the street is, her Chad has a Chad of his own. Yeah, that's right. It's being alleged that Ken Erker is running around here with some man named Steve Wood. Allegedly. Or shall I say was running around with some man named Steve Wood. Now, at first, I was kind of brushing off, you know, all the sayings about this Steve Wood guy. But then, there was another guy who came out. Now, this guy here, he was from Grinder, y'all. Yeah, Grinder. Now, for those of you who do not know what Grinder is, it's a dating app, and it's usually used for the LGBTQ plus community. Well, it is being alleged that Ken Erker has met some men over there on Grinder. Allegedly, y'all. Now, I just want to say this straight up: this is no hate or anything toward the LGBTQ plus community. This is strictly for educational purposes. We are putting the pieces together, being detectives to find out what Ken Erker is up to. And besides, this Gypsy Rose Blanchard story is quite a huge story. So this is all part of the story. So this would be a huge scandal. So I just want to make it very clear where I'm coming from when I give out this information. And remember... Everything in this video is either alleged, my thoughts and opinion, and or my perception. So apparently there was some kind of group discussion going on. And this guy, Cowboy Bear For You, made the statement. And it basically says, by the way, Gypsy, you should really investigate on Ken. Some of us have met him on Grindr. And Grindr is a gay app for your information. Now, like I said before, I wasn't going to be too quick to try to get a little bit more information about this or try to, you know, get some tea on it because it was just only one person that came out. But now that Cowboy Bear for you has came out and said something about Ken, hmm, I'm starting to believe it could possibly be true. Now, another thing that makes me think that this whole thing is true with Ken Erker is because it's Steve Wood guy that came out. He knew all about Gypsy's pregnancy way before the news even broke. Steve Wood posted, Hey Gyps, tell Ken that I want all of our pictures, videos, and scrapbooks returned ASAP. He thought he was cute using me while playing house with you. I have some good stories to tell you if you want to hit me in my DMs. I also want my personally engraved ring and necklace back. I have a box of his stuff too. Tell that biatch to call me. And by the way, when are you going to tell everyone you are pregnant and trap poor Ken like Dee Dee Trap Rod? Asking for a friend, smiley face. Yeah, Ken confided to me and is scared as F that you are going to be a mother to his child. Now, let me tell you another reason why I believe this post. Because he would just say, I want my stuff back. If this was fake and he was making it up, this is very descriptive. I want my pictures, video, scrapbooks, ASAP, upset, all capital letters. I want my personally engraved ring and necklace. Very descriptive. Now it's being alleged that Ken Erker did give Gypsy Rose a personally engraved necklace. Allegedly. And as far as the account, the account that this was posted to, is a well-established account. It has been up. It is not a new account or anything like that. And when this guy Steve Wood says playing house, that just goes to show me that maybe they were in some kind of relationship because it is being alleged that that is the reason why Ken Erker broke off the engagement with Gypsy Rose when she was in prison because he was in a relationship with another man allegedly. And 
Gypsy said he kept giving her excuse after excuse as to why he wanted to break up. And then he just basically said she needs to find herself, find out who she is. Maybe Ken Urker was projecting and he actually needed to go find out who he is and what exactly it is that he wants. That's what I feel like. And not just that. I also feel like Ken Urker is just an opportunist as well. Like he really is going to be Gypsy's karma. Because how are you going to go from breaking it off with somebody? You know, it's not working out. Go find yourself. Being that concerned about them and their well-being and finding their self. But when she gets out and she's in a marriage, you want to break that up? If you truly love Gypsy and you wanted the best for her, you wouldn't have got in the middle of the mix. You left, so obviously you didn't want her. But money's involved. And in my opinion, I feel like that's the only reason why Ken Urker came back. I mean, he wanted to lure Gypsy back so bad. That he contacted her stepmother, Christy Blanchard. But Ken, he knew how Gypsy felt about him. And he knew all he had to do was just snap his fingers and she would come running back. I also feel like Ken Erker's mom is involved. Because Gypsy says that she is very close to Ken's mom. And somehow she's been pushing forward for them to get back together as well. So yeah. I feel like this is just all a part of the plan. And it seems as if, in my opinion, Gypsy Rose is falling for it. She's falling right into the trap. Now, as far as Ken Erker and these rumors about him having a Chad or having Chads or meeting Chads. Now, Ken Erker was in a live and in that live, he was asked, are you gay or are you bisexual? Oh my God, look at y'all. That's why I love y'all. Y'all so messy. But he answered by saying, no, I am not gay. I am not bisexual. If I was, I would say it. He says that I have no shame. It is 2024. So what do you guys think about that? Do you guys think that he's telling the truth? Because, I mean, after the Steve Wood stuff came out, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Gypsy Rose temporarily um, unfollowed Ken and took their videos down, you know, but they end up making up, obviously. So I'm thinking maybe it was about that Steve Wood guy. Now, the only thing I can say about this situation with Ken, good luck to that one, because that Steve Wood guy, it seems like he does not play. Another thing I'm wondering, did you give him his stuff back? Did he give you your stuff back? I guess I'm leaning more toward yes, they gave each other their stuff back. Because Steve Wood, he would have came out and blasted and pretty much said, I said, you know, he's been quiet. So maybe Ken Urker shut him up. Am I gay? No. Am I bi? No. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I really want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions on the whole situation. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time. Bye, guys.